Three cleaning business success secrets. Hi, I'm Steve Hansen, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com and myhousecleaningbiz.com. So, one of the secrets is that when you go to scale your business, you can't scale your business on accounts that are only paying you 200 to 500 dollars per month. We just can't do that. So one of the secrets is is just to go after larger accounts. Yeah, it's pretty simple, but you know, a lot of people don't do that. A lot of times what happens is that people are intimidated because of larger accounts and even mid-sized accounts. So maybe we're talking accounts that are 50,000 square feet to 75,000 square feet plus. You know, those are the types of accounts that you want to get in order to scale your business. So if you do that, you can scale quicker and uh, you'll, have, you'll need less clients to generate a million dollars, two million, ten million dollars in revenue. So that's the first tip. The second thing you can do is don't discount your account, uh, don't discount to get accounts. Now, and I talk to a lot of cleaning business owners that do this, and it really makes no sense. You know, they often will tell me a story that, well, this, uh, this uh, property manager has multiple buildings, you know, and they're, they're interested in us doing some work for them, and they may give us all three of them, depending on what our price is for the first, for this first account. Well, don't be discounting your price just to get the other accounts because it's not going to happen, first of all. All they're doing is they're using that strategy to low, lower your price. That's it. Then you'll probably get the, the one, one account, but you'll never get the other accounts that they've been talking about. It, it's, I've been there, done that, and uh, that's what I experienced. And uh, since then, that's why I don't uh, discount to get any accounts uh, because it's just not going to happen. So always remember that. If you do have opportunities, don't discount to get the account. There's plenty of accounts out there. And besides, you know, <clears throat> look at it this way or think, is that account really my ideal client? That's really what it comes down to. <clears throat> so keep that in mind uh, and then you'll be fine. Uh, number three is uh, put the right people on the bus and in the right seats. Now, many times what I see from talking to cleaning business owners all over the United States is that they'll tell me that they promoted a person into a supervisor's position or a manager's position. And, you know, here to find out that the, they're having issues with those people. And there's a number of different reasons for that. Well, first of all, the person probably wasn't qualified to be in that position to begin with. You know, you often hear that, uh, you know, good frontline cleaners don't necessarily make good supervisors. And that's very true. And uh, good supervisors don't necessarily make good managers. Uh, so you've got to keep that in mind. And uh, the one thing uh, that you want to do is that you want to take them through a process to make sure that they are the right person for that position. You may decide to groom these people and give them the training over a period of time to, to give them the, the training and, uh, and experience that they need in order to handle the position. So that's one thing that you can do. Now, many times, like I say, you know, you got to have the right people on the bus and in, the, and in the right seats. So when we talk about that, that's where, again, we might find out that we've promoted somebody into a supervisor position, but they're not, they're, they can't handle that position. They're not any good at it, no matter what we do. Well, then, you know, maybe there's another position that, that would fit them better. And that's maybe what we have to do is we have to change them from this seat on the bus over to this seat on the bus. And lo and behold, what do you know, that that seat fits them better. So keep that in mind. Um, but we, we definitely got to make sure that we have uh, get people on the bus and get them in the right seat. Uh, because otherwise it's just going to cause you a lot of headaches. Uh, you're not able to scale your business if we don't have a, a good team. Um, and uh, that's very, very important. We have, to have, uh, we have to have the good team. We have to have the right people on the bus in the right seats in order for us to scale. So there you have it. Those are the three uh, cleaning business success uh, uh, secrets. Uh, not a lot of people talk about these, but uh, hopefully you, this will give you some insight. Uh, and if it did, uh, go ahead and click on the like and share button down below. And as usual, if you, uh, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, uh, go ahead and click on the, the subscribe button. And uh, you know, you can find uh, a lot of uh, hundreds and hundreds of videos uh, on the janitorialstore.com and on our channel of how to uh, scale a, a successful clean business. So until next time, we'll see you.